Hey everybody, Rory here. Welcome to my channel, Totally Rory channel. Um, we are working on the four agreements still. Okay, we've been doing this for several weeks now and we are going through these cards versus um, reading the book together. So um, as explained 50,000 times, <laughs> um, it was suggested that a group of us read the book. And I had read it many years ago. And um, and so when I went online to, to try to find it, when I went on Amazon, I saw these cards and I said, oh, this is kind of cool because you know I'm a card person. So I thought I would do this. Now, the last time I did um, some cards, I did I was doing it with Cato and we did the Mars and Venus series and we called it Venus and Mars and it was so much fun. But it was, they were like reflection cards just like these and it was so good to see the different perspectives from a man and from a woman on the same topic. So we really had a ball going through those cards. So I'm doing the same thing, but I'm doing it by myself with the four agreements cards. So we are almost finished. We don't have any left. Let me see how many we have left. Uh, maybe we're not almost finished. <laughs> we got this many left. That's not too many, but whatever. Okay, so that's how many we have left, but we do have some. I shuffled today and allowed some to pop out for the collective, and I also did an oracle card for the collective um, for today. So let's see what they say. So um, speak Okay, so this, the first agreement that we're working on today is don't make assumptions. Speak, speak only openly and honestly. So the agreement is don't make assumptions and it's speak openly and honestly. Okay, and so let's see what we're we looking at here. So this picture, what I'm kind of hearing, I'm hearing like, and so on, and so on, and so on. That's what I'm hearing in my head. Um, but this is reminding me of like past the word, like you whisper a secret and then the next person has to whisper. And then when it goes around the circle and comes back, it's like a totally different story than when it started. But that's kind of like what this picture is reminding me of. Speak openly and honestly. It, it feels like just, it reminds me of being impeccable with your word as well, but don't make assumptions. So I'm just gonna go in to see what this is all about. But the picture, I'm gonna show you what the picture looks like. All right, so let's see what it says. When you speak openly and honestly, you won't have to make assumptions. The day you stop making assumptions, you will communicate cleanly and clearly and achieve impeccable um, impeccability with your word. I like that. Let's read it again. When you speak openly and honestly, you won't have to make assumptions. Well, you could be speaking openly and honestly and not have to make assumptions, but what if the, person, the other person is not speaking openly and honestly? Okay, so I don't know. Um, but maybe you can ask questions instead of making assumptions. Maybe instead of assuming something, you can ask questions. I guess that's what you could do. Okay, the day you stop making assumptions, you will communicate cleanly and clearly and achieve impeccability with your word. I like this because to me, like oftentimes, like I feel like sometimes I'm misunderstood and I feel like if you would just ask me questions, I wouldn't be misunderstood because I am really an open and honest person. Like I am really, like I'm really, really, really open and honest, probably to a fault, okay? Um, and even if I go like dish, you could probably read everything right here, okay? So ask instead of assuming. You know, some people assume different things and they, they are like totally wrong because they might be assuming based on their own feelings. They may be assuming based on their own ego. They may be assuming based on their own shadows, you know, their own stuff. 
And so if you're assuming based on your own stuff, because you know, that's natural and you don't ask, then that's where the problem comes in. Because if you, you know, if you ask me, I'm gonna tell you. Now, if you decide not to believe me, that's your stuff, you know, because People that know me, they know I'm going to tell it to a fault. In one of the other videos, I talked about it. I, I talked about the fact that I got called on the carpet last week, but telling it like it is in a note. And I'm an administrator. So sometimes you can't be doing that. <laughs> you can't tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth. <laughs> Not when you're dealing with the government. But anyway, see, there I go. You see what I'm saying? I tell it. So ask. I'm just saying. Instead of making assumptions, I, I'm, I'm just telling you the truth, especially if you're dealing with me, because you might not be able to read me because you're trying too hard. You might be trying too hard because you ain't got to read me because I'm just open. <laughs> I'm just telling you the truth. Okay, so I'm gonna read it another time. When you speak openly and honestly, you won't have to make assumptions. And you already heard how I feel about that one. Okay, the day you stop making assumptions, you will communicate cleanly and clearly, okay? And achieve impeccability with your word. Okay, so this is just something I feel like we all can work on on all sides of the table. We can all work on, you know, being open and honest about things. Um, but sometimes, you know, you might be trying to be open and honest about something, but maybe you can't, you know, like what if I didn't feel comfortable enough to tell the person who was over me to just, if I made the error, can you just put it out there? I don't mind. What if I wasn't that type of person that could be open and possibly vulnerable in front of others. What if I was not that kind of person? You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm I'm a humble person. I I don't care about being vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? I just I feel like I'm I, I like to be open and honest with people. You know? So, but what if I wasn't able to tell him that? You know? So to me, when I communicated cleanly and clearly to him, he was able to communicate back. And he was also able to give his opinion about the note that I wrote that ruffled a few feathers. <laughs> and I mean, should I have written that note? Probably not. You know, I already knew I was going to get it. <laughs> but damn, I got it real quick. <laughs> but anyway, but you know what? Would I do that again? I hope not. You know, I might not. If I did decide to do it again, I would do it knowing what the ramification of doing that would be, you know? And I would be clear about it. Maybe I would take out certain words like, I pray that. Cause I did, I started with, I pray that. Who writes a professional note starting with, with I pray that? <laughs> but you know what? Okay, I'm gonna tell a story. Okay, so I had this situation happening with a client. This is a couple of years ago. And what happened? I can't even remember the whole situation, but I remember I wrote a letter to God because I couldn't help my client and I couldn't get nobody to help. And so I wrote this letter and I said, you know what? Since I can't get any resolution, I'm going to ask God to help me. God, can you please? And I wrote this letter and I sent it out. Yes, I did. I had no idea that this letter was going to make it all the way around everywhere everybody okay this letter made it to an attorney or attorneys this letter made it all over the place all right to directors of different government agencies and i was standing outside of a meeting and this man said to me oh you are rory 
you wrote that letter to God. I thought I was going to fall out. It was so funny, but it was so real. And it was like four or five people standing around me, all heads of agencies that applauded me for going to God because I couldn't help my client and nobody else would help my client. And I was like, well, God, can you help me? Well, I'm gonna do, here you go. <laughs> if he had an email or mother, father, God, whatever you want, if there was an email, I'd have sent it. Okay. But, but you know, and then I got the help that I needed, but I'm going to just tell you, I don't even where I, I don't know where, where I was going with that. But anyway, <laughs> tell you happy telling the story. Okay. The next card, the Oracle card, peaks of joy, peaks of joy. So this card is a number 33. Okay. So we got a double number. Okay. So look up what 33 means. Okay. In angel number, look that up. All right. So anyway, so there's this girl and like, she's like flying, like she's like an angel, like she is just flying and enjoying herself. And then there's a butterfly up there. So that feels like transformation. So she is transforming in a beautiful way. She's in the cloud. She's flying. She's having everything that she desires. I feel like she's receiving the desi desires of her heart. She's got peaks of joy. Let's see what this card means. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Peaks of joy. All right. And now let's see what it's talking about. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Peaks of joy. Your life is filled with happiness. So share it with others. I say. Yes, share the happiness, share the joy. Keep the other stuff to yourself. I want to that. Okay, happiness, pure love. Only come from a place pure love or get away. <laughs> okay, joy is yours today. No matter what your inquiry, you will be happy with the results. This is for y'all. This is for the collective, okay? You're coming closer to a sense of achievement and your work and you've worked hard for it. Yes, yes, I say, I can see that. Okay, you're surrounded by true companions and events, is that right? Companions and events that are synchronistically arranged to bring you to the next level of your life. Woo! So this feels like some of you guys are on the brink of having everything that you desire. You are on that road. You are on that journey. You are on that path. Make sure you stay on it. Make sure that you vibrate from a place of pure love, you guys, okay? Because there's a whole lot else out there. But you have to make a point to vibrate from a place of pure love love because when you give love you receive love when you give hate you receive hate when you give anger you give anger when you give gossip you receive gossip when you give disgruntled attitude you receive a disgruntled attitude you know what you sow so shall you reap you know you might not get it from the first person that you gave it to you know what I'm saying? But it's going to come because of the laws of karma. It's going to come. So why not give from a place of pure love? Why not? Right? Why not? Okay. You're surrounded by true companions and the event. Okay. Okay. You're surrounded by true companions and events that are synchronistically arranged to bring you to the next level of your life. The world is singing a beautiful harmony. I shake. Life is exhilarating and hopeful. Shay, let let gratitude fill your heart and remember to share your happiness. Joy is contagious. It is, but so is all the other stuff. It is. That's why you might need to turn off television, the television. Turn that off. Turn off the news. Turn it off. Okay. I don't care what side of the coin you're on. Turn it off. Because all of it's negative, for real, for real, okay? Wh whatever side you want is negative. This side fighting that side. Both y'all fighting, negative, okay? Turn it off. Take a break. Take a break from that bullshit, okay? And I get that from So So Mad Damn. I love that, shit. <laughs> 
I even spell it out. I text that word, shittiga. <laughs> so, so mad, damn girl, I love you. Okay, so anyway, I love this card. Yes, 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 yes. Your life is filled with happiness, so share it with others. Yes. You know, too often we want to share our misery. We want to always call somebody with some drama. Call somebody with something positive. Call them with some happiness, some joy. Smile. Smile. When you're at the store, smile. When you greet a cashier, get off your phone and smile. You know what I mean? Greet them just like they should be greeting you. You know what I'm saying? Smile. So I, I love this for today. I do. I do. Speak openly and honestly. Okay. Don't make assumptions. All righty. I love that. Speak, communicate cleanly and clearly. Say exactly what you feel. And if you, you know, if you're talking to me, know that I'm going to tell you exactly what's up. I'm not going to lie to you because whatever, it's not that serious. What's that serious? You need to laugh. All right. So I love these cards for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. I am still wearing the same one. This is Kyolite and blue Kyolite and something. Let me look at it again. See, I'll be forgetting. Blue Kyanite and Sapphire. Blue Kyanite and Sapphire. Okay. So let me read what it's about. The healing properties of kyanite align most, almost perfectly with Sapphire's healing properties. Thought, they're thought to bring balance, calm, and harmony to the body and the mind. Mind. Kyanite is also, is, well, excuse me, kyanite is known as a cleansing stone that clears out negativity, Ashe. All right, kyanite is also believed to help wearers break through fears or blockages, kyanite. Blue kyanite and sapphire. All right, and if you're interested in the natural stones, if you have a natural stone that you wanna get wrapped, okay, you can get it wrapped in copper, which is this, or you can get it wrapped in, um, brass, which looks like gold, and you can get it wrapped in, I think, like silver, okay? So so if you have your own stone, you want to get it wrapped, um, this gentleman does some amazing wrapping, all right? If you want to find a stone, I just go to one of his displays, you know, he does them all the time, he does displays. Um, you can reach out to him and see when he's going to be in your area, or you can, you know, look at everything that he has online, or if you know of a stone that you want to get, you can reach out to him, let him know this is a stone I'm looking for. You can get it wrapped like an Ankh. Ankhs are very powerful. I'm learning a lot about Ankhs. Um, I connect a lot with my Egyptian history, my Egyptian, you know, lineage. So I, I love Ankhs. And I, um, you can get just a stone, like I have the serpentine egg back here. Um, I have many, many stones. I have this stone right here. I think this is tourmaline, okay? This stone right here is a piece of tourmaline. Um, you could get, I have these stones, this is serpentine. I keep these here on my um, dowsing cloth. And so anyway, he had the name of him, he's on Instagram, it's Prosperous Network, Prosperous Network, or Total U, the letter U, it's in my description box. I put the hashtag in my description box if you're looking at me on YouTube, because, you know, I'm wearing his wares all the time. I love his product, his stones, well, stones speak to me anyway, um, so I love them. So check him out on Instagram, Prosperous Network or Total You. And I hope y'all have had a wonderful morning. You know, we like to start the days out vibrating high. So that's what I'm here to give to you, different reasons to set your vibration on high, you know, high, high flying so that you can release the negativity that brings you down. It is time for us to ascend. Okay, so anyway, 
that's a whole nother topic. I'm not going to get deep into that, but that's what we're doing here. We're keeping our vibrations high and the natural stones. I wear natural stones here as well. Um, this is a way to do that. So you guys, I will see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Ashe, ashe, ashe.